Today, let's make a really cool reading sandwich for the brain. I've said before that no matter which reading materials we're using, that we teach everything sandwich style. I've made several videos on this in the past, so why am I making a new one? Because it's so simple and so effective and it's free and I want you to use it because it works so well for the brain. What does teaching sandwich style mean? It means we choose five cards, we fast flash those five cards three times in succession, then we read the material that those words are in, and then we repeat those five cards fast flashing three times in succession. We don't show five different cards, we show the same five cards that we showed in the beginning. The two slices of bread in our sandwich, the before and after, are the five word cards. The peanut butter and jelly in the middle is a really cool, totally awesome reading material that we've chosen that contains those words. So what's going on with the brain when we do this? Why do we use super large type? Why red ink? Why do we flash the cards three times? Why do we choose five cards? And why do we repeat the words after we've already read the material? So let's look at the answers to those questions. Large type is simply easier to see. Easier to see and therefore recognize the next time and eventually easier to retain. Why red ink? Glenn Doman recommended using a fat red marker to make your own flashcards because simply that children are attracted to red. But I'll add that studies have been done that show us that large humans and medium-sized humans are also very attracted to red. So using red ink or a red marker is a good bet for attracting the attention of our learner. Why show the cards three times in succession? Because repetition is key for brain retention. And learning to read is largely about repetition. But don't show the cards four or five times in succession. That's overkill and can easily be boring. Twice is not enough. Three times is just right. Why five cards? Most of our learners have five working memory channels. Some have more, some have less. But if we stick to five, it means that most of our learners can comfortably hold that amount of material, those five items, in retention, in working memory. The typical population has seven to nine working memory channels. So we want to make learning as comfortable as possible, as easy as possible for our learners. So sticking to five does the trick. And why flash the cards again after we've read this totally cool reading material? Repetition. The brain's gotta have it. So please make this sandwich. I would love to see you make lots of these reading sandwiches. Use this strategy no matter what you're teaching, whether it's personal books, personal games, lotto games, uh, classroom material that you're trying to modify. It doesn't matter. The strategy works with everything. And if you want to learn more about the sandwich method, just go to my YouTube channel, which is Down Syndrome Reading with Natalie Hale, and use the search box and type in sandwich. That'll take you to some more. So if you've been watching this around lunchtime, my guess is that you're going to be heading to the kitchen right now to make yourself a PBJ. In that case, enjoy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.